the rite of matins for Holy Monday, according to the 1549 Book of Common Prayer, with additions from the Serum Breviary as compiled in the Prayer Book Office by Father Paul Hartzell, 1944. The Psalms appointed are 28, 32, and 35. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. O Lord, open thou my lips, and my mouth shall show forth thy praise. O God, make speed to save me. O Lord, make haste to help me. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Ghost, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Praise ye the Lord. Let us worship the Lord, who by his cross hath redeemed us. Let us worship the Lord, who by his cross hath redeemed us. O come, let us sing unto the Lord. Let us heartily rejoice in the strength of our salvation. Let us come before his presence with thanksgiving, and show ourselves glad in him with psalms. Let us worship the Lord, who by his cross hath redeemed us. For the Lord is a great God, and a great King above all gods. In his hand are all the corners of the earth, and the strength of the hills is his also, who by his cross hath redeemed us. The sea is his, and he made it, and his hands prepared the dry land. O come, let us worship and fall down, and kneel before the Lord our Maker. For he is the Lord our God, and we are the people of his pasture, and the sheep of his hand. Let us worship the Lord, who by his cross hath redeemed us. Today, if ye will hear his voice, harden not your hearts, as in the provocation, and as in the day of temptation in the wilderness. When your fathers tempted me, proved me, and saw my works, who by his cross hath redeemed us. Forty years long was I grieved for this generation, and said, It is a people that do err in their hearts, for they have not known my ways, unto whom I swear in my wrath that they should not enter into my rest. Let us worship the Lord, who by his cross hath redeemed us. Let us worship the Lord, who by his cross hath redeemed us. Sing my tongue the glorious battle, sing the winning of the fray. And above the cross the trophy, sound the high triumphal lay. Tell of how the world's Redeemer, as a victim, won the day. God our Maker, deeply grieving that the first made Adam fell, when he took the fruit forbidden, which to taste was death and hell, noted then this tree the ruin of the first tree to dispel. Thus the work of our salvation needs must fill its ordered plan, Craft the cunning traitor baffle, as his craft deluded man, and the medicine of healing spring whence first the hurt began. Therefore when the sacred fullness of the appointed time was come, for the Son, the world's creator, sent from out the Father's home, issued forth on earth incarnate, offspring of the virgin's womb. Glory be to God and honor in the highest as is meet to the Son and to the Father, and the eternal Paraclete, whose is boundless praise and power, through the ages infinite. Amen. I hid not. Unto thee will I cry, O Lord, my strength. Think no scorn of me, lest, if thou makest though thou hearest not, I become like them that go down into the pit. Hear the voice of my humble petitions when I cry unto thee when I hold up my hands towards the mercy seat of thy holy temple. O pluck me not away, neither destroy me with the ungodly and wicked doers, which speak friendly to their neighbors, but imagine mischief in their hearts. Reward them according to their deeds, and according to the wickedness of their own inventions. Recompense them after the work of their hands. Pay them that they have deserved. For they regard not in their mind the works of the Lord, nor the operation of his hands. Therefore shall he break them down, and not build them up. Praise it be the Lord, for he hath heard the voice of my humble petitions. The Lord is my strength and my shield. My heart hath trusted in him, and I am helped. Therefore my heart danceth for joy, and in my song will I praise him. The Lord is my strength, and he is the wholesome defense of his anointed. O save thy people, and give thy blessing unto their inheritance. 
feed them and set them up forever. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Ghost, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, a world without end. Amen. Blessed is he whose unrighteousness is forgiven, and whose sin is covered. Blessed is the man unto whom the Lord imputeth no sin, and in whose spirit there is no guile. For whilst I held my tongue, my bones consumed away through my daily complaining. For thy hand was heavy upon me day and night, and my moisture was like the drought in summer. I acknowledged my sin unto thee, and mine unrighteousness have I not hid. I said, I will confess my sins unto the Lord, and so thou forgavest the wickedness of my sin. For this shall every one that is godly make his prayer unto thee in a time when thou mayest be found. Surely the great water floods shall not come nigh him. Thou art a place to hide me in, thou shalt preserve me from trouble, thou shalt compass me about with songs of deliverance. I will inform thee and teach thee the way wherein thou shalt go, and I will guide thee with mine eye. Be ye not like to horse and mule which have no understanding, whose mouths must be held with bit and bridle, else they will not obey thee. Great plagues remain for the ungodly, but whoso putteth his trust in the Lord, mercy embraceth him on every side. Be glad, O ye righteous, and rejoice in the Lord, and be joyful, all ye that are true of heart. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Ghost, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Plead thou my cause, O Lord, with them that strive with me, and fight thou against them that fight against me. Lay hand upon the shield and buckler, and stand up to help me. Bring forth the spear, and stop the way against them that pursue me. Say unto my soul, I am thy salvation. Let them be confounded and put to shame that seek after my soul. Let them be turned back and brought to confusion that imagine mischief for me. Let them be as the dust before the wind, and the angel of the Lord scattering them. Let their way be dark and slippery, and let the angel of the Lord pursue them. For they have privily laid their net to destroy me without a cause. Yea, even without a cause have they made a pit for my soul. Let a sudden destruction come upon him unawares, and his net that he hath laid privily catch himself, that he may fall into his own mischief. And my soul shall be joyful in the Lord, it shall rejoice in his salvation. All my bones shall say, Lord, who is like unto thee, who deliverest the poor from him that is too strong for him, yea, the poor and him that is in misery from him that spoileth them. False witnesses that rise up, they laid to my charge things that I knew not, they rewarded me evil for good to the great discomfort of my soul. Nevertheless, when they were sick, I put on sackcloth and humbled my soul with fasting, and my prayer shall turn into mine own bosom. I behaved myself as though it had been my friend or my brother. I went heavily as one that mourneth for his mother. But in mine adversity they rejoiced and gathered themselves together. Yea, the very abjects came together against me unawares, making mouths at me, and ceased not. With the flatterers were busy mockers, who gnashed upon me with their teeth. Lord, how long wilt thou look upon this? O deliver my soul from the calamities which they bring on me, and my darling from the lions. So will I give thee thanks in the great congregation. I will praise thee among much people. O let not them that are mine enemies triumph over me ungodly. Neither let them wink with their eyes, that hate me without a cause. And why? Their communing is not for peace, but they imagine deceitful words against them that are quiet in the land. They gaped upon me with their mouths and said, Fie on thee, fie on thee, we saw it with our eyes. This thou hast seen, O Lord. Hold not thy tongue then. Go not far from me, O Lord. Awake and stand up to judge my quarrel. Avenge thou my cause, my God and my Lord. Judge me, O Lord my God, according to thy righteousness, and let them not triumph over me. Let them not say in their hearts, There, there, so would we have it. Neither let them say, We have devoured him. Let them be put to confusion and shame together that rejoice at my trouble. Let them be clothed with rebuke and dishonor that boast themselves against me. Let them be glad and rejoice that favor my righteous dealing. Yea, let them say alway, Blessed be the Lord who hath pleasure in the prosperity of his servant. And as for my tongue, it shall be talking of thy righteousness and of thy praise all the day long.
Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Ghost, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. I hid not my face from shame and spitting. Here beginneth the forty-second chapter of the book of the prophet Isaiah. Behold my servant, whom I uphold, mine elect in whom my soul delighteth. I have put my spirit upon him. He shall bring forth judgment to the Gentiles. He shall not cry, nor lift up, nor cause his voice to be heard in the street. A bruised reed shall he not break, and the smoking flax shall he not quench. He shall bring forth judgment unto truth. He shall not fail nor be discouraged till he have set judgment in the earth, and the isles shall wait for his law. Thus saith God the Lord, he that created the heavens and stretched them out, he that spread forth the earth and that which cometh out of it, he that giveth breath unto the people upon it, and spirit to them that walk therein. I the Lord have called thee in righteousness, and will hold thine hand, and will keep thee, and give thee for a covenant of the people, for a light of the Gentiles to open the blind eyes, to bring out the prisoners from the prison, and them that sit in darkness out of the prison house. Here endeth the lesson. Blessed art thou, O Lord God of our fathers, praised and exalted above all for ever. Blessed art thou for the name of thy majesty, praised and exalted above all for ever. Blessed art thou in the temple of thy holiness, praised and exalted above all for ever. Blessed art thou that beholdest the depths, and dwellest between the cherubim, praised and exalted above all for ever. Blessed art thou in the glorious throne of thy kingdom, praised and exalted above all for ever. Blessed art thou in the firmament of heaven, praised and exalted above all for ever. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Ghost, praised and exalted above all for ever. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, praised and exalted above all for ever. Blessed art thou, O Lord our God. Thy holy name is praiseworthy and glorious for ever and ever. Here beginneth the fourteenth chapter of the Gospel of St. John. Let not your heart be troubled. Ye believe in God, believe also in me. In my Father's house are many mansions. If it were not so, I would have told you. I go to prepare a place for you. And if I go and prepare a place for you, I will come again and receive you unto myself, that where I am, there ye may be also. And whither I go ye know, and the way ye know. Thomas saith unto him, Lord, we know not whither thou goest, and how can we know the way? Jesus saith unto him, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man cometh unto the Father but by me. If ye had known me, ye should have known my Father also, and from henceforth ye know him, and have seen him. Philip saith unto him, Lord, show us the Father, and it sufficeth us. Jesus saith unto him, Have I been so long time with you, and yet hast thou not known me, Philip? He that hath seen me hath seen the Father. And how, sayest thou, show us the Father? Believest thou not that I am in the Father, and the Father in me? The words that I speak unto you I speak not of myself, but the Father that dwelleth in me, he doeth the works. Believe me that I am in the Father, and the Father in me, or else believe for the very works' sake. Verily, verily, I say unto you, he that believeth on me, the works that I do shall he do also, and greater works than these shall he do, because I go unto my Father. And whatsoever ye shall ask in my name, that will I do, that the Father may be glorified in the Son. If ye shall ask anything in my name, I will do it. Here endeth the lesson. Thirty years he dwelt among us, his appointed time fulfilled. Born for this he met his passion, this the Saviour freely willed. On the cross the Lamb was lifted, where his precious blood was spilled. He endured the nails, the spitting, vinegar and spear and reed, From that holy body broken, blood and water forth proceed. Earth and stars and sky and ocean, by that flood from stain are freed. Faithful cross above all other, one and only noble tree. None in foliage, none in blossom, none in fruit thy peer may be. Sweetest wood and sweetest iron, 
sweetest weight is hung on thee. Bend thy boughs, O tree of glory, thy relaxing sinews bend. For a while the ancient rigor that thy birth bestowed suspend, and the king of heavenly beauty on thy bosom gently tend. Thou alone wast counted worthy this world's ransom to sustain, that a shipwrecked race forever might a port of refuge gain, when the sacred blood anointed of the Lamb for sinners slain. Glory be to God and honor in the highest as is meet, to the Son and to the Father and the eternal Paraclete, whose is boundless praise and power through the ages infinite. Amen. Deliver me from mine enemies, O God. Defend me from them that rise up against me. Thou couldst have. Blessed be the Lord God of Israel, for he hath visited and redeemed his people, and hath raised up a mighty salvation for us in the house of his servant David, as he spake by the mouth of his holy prophets, which have been since the world began, that we should be saved from our enemies and from the hand of all that hate us, to perform the mercy promised to our forefathers, and to remember his holy covenant, to perform the oath which he sware to our forefather Abraham that he would give us, that we, being delivered out of the hand of our enemies, might serve him without fear, in holiness and righteousness before him all the days of our life. And thou, child, shalt be called the prophet of the highest, for thou shalt go before the face of the Lord to prepare his ways, to give knowledge of salvation unto his people for the remission of their sins, through the tender mercy of our God, whereby the day spring from on high hath visited us, to give light to them that sit in darkness and in the shadow of death, and to guide our feet into the way of peace. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Ghost, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Thou couldst have no power at all against me, except it were given thee from above. Lord, have mercy upon us. Christ, have mercy upon us. Lord, have mercy upon us. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Ghost, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, dead, and buried. He descended into hell. The third day he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven, and sitteth on the right hand of God the Father Almighty. From thence he shall come to judge the quick and the dead. I believe in the Holy Ghost, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. O Lord, show thy mercy upon us, and grant us thy salvation. O Lord, save the state and mercifully hear us when we call upon thee. Endue thy ministers with righteousness, and make thy chosen people joyful. O Lord, save thy people, and bless thine inheritance. Give peace in our time, O Lord, for there is none other that fighteth for us, but only thou, O God. O God, may clean our hearts within us, and take not thy Holy Spirit from us. The Lord be with you, and with thy spirit. Let us pray. Grant, we beseech thee, almighty God, that we who by reason of our weakness do falter amid so many adversities may take heart again through the interceding passion of thine only begotten Son, who with thee in the unity of the Holy Ghost liveth and reigneth ever one God, world without end. Amen. Almighty and everlasting God, who of thy tender love towards mankind hast sent thy Son, our Saviour Jesus Christ, to take upon him our flesh, and to suffer death upon the cross, that all mankind should follow the example of his great humility. Mercifully grant that we may both follow the example of his patience, and also be made partakers of his resurrection. Through the same Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. O God, who art the author of peace and lover of concord, in knowledge of whom standeth our eternal life, whose service is perfect freedom. Defend us, thy humble servants, and all assaults of our enemies, that we, surely trusting in thy defense, 
may not fear the power of any adversaries, through the might of Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. O Lord, our Heavenly Father, almighty and everlasting God, who hast safely brought us to the beginning of this day, defend us in the same with thy mighty power, and grant that this day we fall into no sin, neither run into any kind of danger, but that all our doings, being ordered by thy governance, may be righteous in thy sight. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. O God the Father, creator of heaven and earth, have mercy upon us. O God the Son, redeemer of the world, have mercy upon us. O God the Holy Ghost, sanctifier of the faithful, have mercy upon us. O Holy, blessed, and glorious Trinity, one God, have mercy upon us. Saint Mary, Mother of God, our Savior Jesus Christ, pray for us. All holy angels and archangels, and all holy orders of blessed spirits, pray for us. All holy patriarchs and prophets, apostles, martyrs, confessors, and virgins, and all the blessed company of heaven, pray for us. Remember not, Lord, our offenses, nor the offenses of our forefathers, neither take thou vengeance of our sins. Spare us, good Lord, spare thy people, whom thou hast redeemed with thy most precious blood, and be not angry with us for ever. Spare us, good Lord. From all evil and mischief, from sin, from the crafts and assaults of the devil, from thy wrath and from everlasting damnation, good Lord, deliver us. From all blindness of heart, from pride, vainglory, and hypocrisy, from envy, hatred, and malice, and all uncharitableness, good Lord, deliver us. From all inordinate and sinful affections, and from all the deceits of the world, the flesh, and the devil, good Lord, deliver us. From lightning and tempest, from earthquake, fire, and flood, from plague, pestilence, and famine, from battle and murder, and from sudden death, good Lord, deliver us. From all sedition, privy conspiracy, and rebellion, from all false doctrine, heresy, and schism, from hardness of heart and contempt of thy word and commandment, good Lord, deliver us. By the mystery of thy holy incarnation, by thy holy nativity and circumcision, by thy baptism, fasting, and temptation, good Lord, deliver us. By thine agony and bloody sweat, by thy cross and passion, by thy precious death and burial, by thy glorious resurrection and ascension, and by the coming of the Holy Ghost, good Lord, deliver us. In all time of our tribulation, in all time of our prosperity, in the hour of death and in the day of judgment, good Lord, deliver us. We sinners do beseech thee to hear us, O Lord God, and that it may please thee to rule and govern thy holy church universal in the right way. We beseech thee to hear us, good Lord that it may please thee so to rule the heart of thy servant Donald, the President of the United States, that he may above all things seek thine honor and glory. We beseech thee to hear us, good Lord, that it may please thee to bless and preserve all Christian rulers and magistrates, giving them grace to execute justice and to maintain truth. We beseech thee to hear us, good Lord, that it may please thee to illuminate all bishops, priests, and deacons with true knowledge and understanding of thy word, and that both by their preaching and living they may set it forth and show it accordingly. We beseech thee to hear us, good Lord, that it may please thee to send forth laborers into thy harvest. We beseech thee to hear us, good Lord, that it may please thee to bless and keep all thy people. We beseech thee to hear us, good Lord, that it may please thee to give to all nations unity, peace, and concord. We beseech thee to hear us, good Lord, that it may please thee to give us an heart to love and fear thee, and diligently to live after thy commandments. We beseech thee to hear us, good Lord, that it may please thee to give to all thy people increase of grace, to hear meekly thy word, and to receive it with pure affection, and to bring forth the fruits of the Spirit. We beseech thee to hear us, good Lord, that it may please thee to bring to the way of truth all such as have erred and are deceived. We beseech thee to hear us, good Lord, that it may please thee to strengthen such as do stand, and to comfort and help the weak-hearted, and to raise up those who fall, and finally to beat down Satan under our feet. We beseech thee to hear us, good Lord, that it may please thee to succor, help, and comfort all who are in danger, necessity, and tribulation. We beseech thee to hear us, good Lord, that it may please thee to preserve all who travel by land, by water, or by air, all women in childbirth, all sick persons, and young children, and to show thy pity upon all prisoners and captives. We beseech thee to hear us, good Lord that it may please thee to defend and provide for the fatherless children and widows, and all who are desolate and oppressed. We beseech thee to hear us, good Lord, that it may please thee to have mercy upon all men. We beseech thee to hear us, good Lord, that it may please thee to forgive our enemies, persecutors, and slanderers, and to turn their hearts. We beseech thee to hear us, good Lord, 
that it may please thee to give and preserve to our use the kindly fruits of the earth, so that in due time we may enjoy them. We beseech thee to hear us, good Lord, that it may please thee to give us true repentance, to forgive us all our sins, negligences, and ignorances, and to endue us with the grace of thy Holy Spirit to amend our lives according to thy holy word. We beseech thee to hear us, good Lord. Son of God, we beseech thee to hear us. Son of God, we beseech thee to hear us. O Lamb of God, who takest away the sins of the world, grant us thy peace. O Lamb of God, who takest away the sins of the world, have mercy upon us. O Christ, hear us. O Christ, hear us. Lord, have mercy upon us. Lord, have mercy upon us. Christ, have mercy upon us. Christ, have mercy upon us. Lord, have mercy upon us. Lord, have mercy upon us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. O Lord, deal not with us according to our sins, neither reward us according to our iniquities. Let us pray. O God, merciful Father, who despiseth not the sighing of a contrite heart, nor the desire of such as are sorrowful, mercifully assist our prayers which we make before thee in all our troubles and adversities, whensoever they oppress us. And graciously hear us that those evils which the craft and subtlety of the devil or man worketh against us may, by thy good providence, be brought to naught, that we thy servants, being hurt by no persecutions, may evermore give thanks unto thee in thy holy church. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. O Lord, arise, help us, and deliver us for thy name's sake. O God, we have heard with our ears, and our fathers have declared unto us the noble works that thou didst in their days, and in the old time before them. O Lord, arise, help us, and deliver us for thine honor. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Ghost, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. From our enemies, defend us, O Christ. Graciously look upon our afflictions. With pity behold the sorrows of our hearts. Mercifully forgive the sins of thy people. Favorably, with mercy, hear our prayers. O Son of David, have mercy upon us, both now and ever vouchsafe to hear us, O Christ. Graciously hear us, O Christ. Graciously hear us, O Lord Christ. O Lord, let thy mercy be showed upon us as we do put our trust in thee. Let us pray. We humbly beseech thee, O Father, mercifully to look upon our infirmities, and for the glory of thy name turn from us all those evils that we most justly have deserved, and grant that in all our troubles we may put our whole trust and confidence in thy mercy, and evermore serve thee in holiness and pureness of living, to thine honor and glory, through our only mediator and advocate, Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you, and with thy spirit. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. May the souls of all the faithful departed, through the mercy of God, rest in peace. Amen.